This is my show. Hey, it's me. Episode four. We're back. I can't believe we haven't been canceled yet. Hey, this is our one month anniversary. Welcome back. If uh, this is your first time joining us, this is my live show. I'm back on YouTube. I hope you enjoy it. We got a very big show for you today. We got Nathan Barnett is here as our guest. Clap for Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. And we also got my mom reviewing uh, Brokeback Mountain Sucking in my man. mom's movie review. And the segment formerly known as Blood oh, Corner. Oh, no. I was planning on taking control of my show back. What's up, Cass? I didn't want Dell here. Mom, and I didn't right. want Pot here. And guess what the first two Second, things I see it. is right. Dell and Pot. So what do you mean? What are you talking about? No, I just, I don't want you here. Usually you come at the end of the show and that, that's something I can barely deal with, but I deal with. But right. you at the beginning of the show at the top is really throwing me off now. I don't know. This is, I, I feel like this is great. I feel like I belong here. It's Blunt Corner. No, there's, I, I said no to Blunts. And the fact that you guys just decided to get a bong instead is just pure disrespect. Loopholes. Yeah, you found a loophole. Yeah, it's a loophole. <laughs> so people like Dell. No, I don't think people like Dell. That's how this whole thing started. Is that when I was reading the comments after episode one, and they said, "Why do you have a puppet? Why is this, why is he a vacation Dalmatian? Don't we don't need him to make the show cool, and we don't need weed. You guys, we can do this without weed and a puppet." Oh, uh, li listen, Castle. By the way, uh, I don't want to step on your toes or anything, but uh, I yeah. actually do have some notes about the show. And, oh, you have and how notes for my yeah. show. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, this is interesting. I'd love to hear what your notes are for my show. Give us some notes last night. Whoa. So just keep these. I like. Guidelines, loose, not really. You, you don't have to take take them or leave them. Unbelievable. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Let me let me hear what you have well, to I was say. Doing, I did the little <clears throat> throat clearing thing. Yeah, I know you're <clears throat> about to get into it now. Thank you. Where are the palm trees? That's that's note number one. I mean, we're in California. Like, we're, like, I, I, I have an idea. <laughs> get rid of the grass. More sand. Okay. Maybe make like a little like tide wade pool area, wave pool. Oh, a man. Make it look beach. like we're at a beach. That that sounds like a lot of work to transform my backyard, which already has nice grass in it. Yeah, why but, would I, I put sand in I mean, it? You got like millions of dollars, like you can figure it out. It's true. I do have the money to do right. it. Doesn't mean it's a good idea, Dell. I by the way, I didn't tell him that you had a bunch of money. I'm I'm quiet. Yeah, about you're fair. I know. He, he googled you. Yeah, I googled. It's it. out there. My network. It's all on Google. I caught you googling him. Oh. Come yeah, on. okay, well, what else you got besides right, a right, wave right. number pool two, and Number sand? two, I got number two. Uh, come on, man. Where's the title of the show? What is it, four episodes? We still have a title? You're right. It is a little lazy. I, I do yeah. kind of agree with the yeah, fact that Yeah, even for me, it's a little lazy. Yeah. And I'm a fucking vacation Dalmatian. Yeah, you're very laid back, and you're getting upset with it. I, I agree. We should have a name. Yeah, I, I have a couple pitches, if you don't mind. Oh, great. I was yeah. thinking maybe like uh, the Dell and Kasim show. If that's okay. The del the del the guy who I don't want in the show before yeah. my name in my own show. I'll settle for the Casim and Del show. That has a good that's ring so to nice it. That's so nice of you. Thank del you, Del. Castle. DK, Del it Castle. Sounds good. Del Casarole. Yeah. It sounds good. All right, number three. Oh. Not for you, Kai. Hey, weeds died and all, but where are the cold ones? I'm kind of thirsty around here. You can't. You're not. You're <laughs> you're a puppet, and I already have a problem with you smoking weed and you drink now. Del? Oh yeah. Well, I'm a derelict. You, you absolutely are. Maybe get a margarita or something. It sounds like you're just saying things to make your your time here more enjoyable, not necessarily mine or trying to think about the people watching the show. Well, I'm always on my time, baby! <laughs> All right, number four. He's hey, so quick-witted. Drake's going to be a good a great idea. catchphrase yeah. already. Uh, <laughs> number four, is John not going to have this baby? Like, what, what's the holdup? When's it coming out? Del, he, he's in his first trimester. He, uh, what does that mean? It takes, how long did it take? It takes 12, 16 months, John? Nine months. It takes nine months, Nine Seth. months? Yeah. That's, uh, Holy shit, it, took, it takes a dog two months. Yeah. Well, how, many, how many are you having? It's quicker, like, it's quicker like for dogs. 20, do 20 babies? No, no, he's just having one that we know of so far. Just one? Just one, just one kid. Yeah. Just one. 12 months? Nine months for just, oh my god. Yeah, that's insane. Lot. It does seem like a lot, actually. What else you uh, got? What else yeah, you yeah, got, I got uh, Number five. Love the El Segundo bit. I think oh, we yeah? should really move forward with that. I think it really works for me. It's great. It's meta. I really love it. I, I enjoy it too. I enjoy it too. If Dell loves it, that's how I know we're doing the right thing with that. Yeah. Uh, okay. And uh, number five, my final note, number six. Somebody take a screenshot of me hitting this bomb. You got it. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Come on. Someone screenshot this. Screenshot. You got screenshot. Got this. Suck yeah. it in. Inhale. I can't believe we started the show with the two things I hate the most. You got to inhale, Del. Screenshot. Well, you know so okay. This is actually going to lead me. You, you light it. We got to get. Del can't inhale because yeah, he's a puppet. He's a, he, he's a puppet. How is he supposed Here, to? I'm going to help him. I'm going to shotgun, shotgun it. Let's shotgun this baby. Yeah, take long, long suck it in. Suck it in long. Unbelievable. 
Give me I a can't nice big believe. Hit. <sighs> Sorry, I keep can't going. It's windy. A puppet getting high with the head rider of the show. Come on, Omi. Come on, You know P. what, Dell? You know what? I'm posting a, a Twitter poll right now. <laughs> yes. And you know what it says? Ugh. It says what? live poll. Do we do away with Dell? That's a lot of D's. Do, do we do <laughs> away with Dell do do and for all? And I'm gonna tweet that. And I'm gonna let the people decide. If you guys decide that Dell needs to be gone, which I think he should be gone. No, He's no, obviously no, no. ruining the show. Why would He's you leave it to just the here to smoke weed. He's just here to try and, and, and drink beer or Old add ones. beer and, and, and ponds and sand. I don't think that's a good idea, but you can also vote to keep him on the show if that's what you want. Well, I'm so high off this real marijuana. I'm, I'm pretty sure people are gonna see this whole segment and either stop watching the show altogether or definitely vote. What are you guys, fr uh, French inhaling Don't do this at home. <laughs> Come on. Don't do this at home. <laughs> Anyways, uh, check out my Twitter. Uh, please answer that poll. Uh, we got some tweets coming in. We're going to the socials. We're going to go to the, the socials. socials part of this section. Now, a lot of you last episode threw up such a little hissy fit because we didn't get enough of your questions in, especially from Instagram. So guess what? We're doing an all Instagram ass Cassim portion of the show. Guys, if you're not too high, would you please read some of those questions? Sure. We have, it's just Walter, and he says, can I be the new Lizard King? I have been dissatisfied with the present performance of our current Lizard King. Burn. Yeah. What's his name? Uh, it's just Walter. Walter, you you have my blessing to become the new Lizard King, so wow. congratulations. Everybody give it up for Walter. Congratulations, Walter. Walter. He is the is one. Is this a bit that other people do on other shows, or is, it, is the Lizard yeah, King Yeah, everyone thing... has a Lizard King bit. Every okay. show I watch. Not, I feel like it's not an original thing. Is that original yeah. to our Simpsons show? Simpsons did it. Uh, Marin did it. Everyone's got a Marin? Lizard King. Mark oh, Marin? yeah. Okay. It's the most we're, overdone. It's such a trope. <laughs> it's a real, it's a, but now we're Simpsons a real show. and Mark Marin yeah. did it. Yeah. It means, it, okay, great. It's All just right. so stale. All right, well, congrats, next up. Walter. By next. the way, we do have an iguana in the backyard now that we're talking about the Lizard King. Yeah, for, for those of you that saw my Instagram story yesterday, there, no joke, there is a loose iguana in the neighborhood. Everyone thinks it's my iguana. It's not my iguana. Uh, he has been spotted several times today, so we're hoping that he shows his face. He's a pretty chill guy. Have you met him? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What, what's he like? He's pretty chill. He just like chills around, just like lays around. Yeah, he's he, got a lot to say, though. He doesn't have a lot to say. He just kind of soaks up the sun, and then he disappears. Yeah. You but know? he's cool. Yeah, all right. Are you, how are you feeling, by the way? You Fucking, look, you, I'm drifty. Yeah, sit up. Sorry, I'm slouching. You're slouching. I, am, <laughs> I, just smoke, yeah, I am upset with the amount of screen time Dell gets. You, right. just, you just start mumbling. <laughs> you know, when you get stoned, you just start mumbling. What? Do we, have any, do we have any more questions? Peror asks, would you rather fight 10 John Knock half-sized Peters or one high Omar? Oh, that's a good question. One high Omar, easy. Yeah. Because that's like different. fighting myself. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, the dark roast version. But this gives us a great excuse to bring uh, John Knock back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> face, face the trailer, John. There it is. As we slowly lift up. It tickles. Oh, it's so hard to get the pant leg. Come on, baby. Oh. You might have to cut one. It's tough. Oh. Pant leg. Uh, it's get getting me in? tough. You want to get a cup in? Oh, you're man. so good to me. Yeah, even when I disobey you, you're still good to me. John knows calves. Amazing. One of the better segments of this show. Uh, Thank you. No, why don't you just hang up here, buddy? It's Definitely my, the it's my mom's favorite now, part of the show. If you guys have sure. noticed something different about John this week. He's got a haircut, and I've been roasting him all day, and I told him that he looks like uh, like an electronic dance, uh, what are they called? DJ? You look sure. like you could yeah. be in the Jabberwockies. There's, <clears throat> there's a lot of different things that bug me about this haircut. Now, where did you get the haircut? Why does it look like that? And is Terry happy about it? Um, I got my haircut at a Korean salon, right underneath the, uh, the driving range. And, uh, underneath the driving yeah, range? Yeah, it's underneath the driving range. Is and that what Korea, Koreatown A has a driving range? Yeah, there's Meaning a that there's a, a big Korean golf community that yes, I didn't know yeah. about. Mm -hmm. And but then somehow underneath this driving range, there's a place yeah, there's like a mini where mall. they're shaving the sides of, of Korean men's heads. I didn't have, I like I didn't have uh, this haircut specifically in mind. I just told her <laughs> I wanted it short. Yeah. And I think it looks great. You love it. I've every yeah. time I've looked over you, you've just been doing this all day. Yeah. And I thought I did that a lot, but you've been doing it a lot. And um, I, I personally like long hair, John. But yeah, I like that too. But well, I think you look okay. 
Uh, get back, get back there behind that camera. How's that breeze feel, John? <laughs> okay, enough. Yay. All right. This one uh, comes in from Shab Karimi, and uh, I know the answer to this one. If John Na and Peter are both in critical con critical condition and you can only save one, who are you choosing? Oof. I saved John. I think we all knew. Yeah. John. I think wouldn't you save? Oh, I'd save John over myself. Oh, yeah. yeah. He sure. needs to live on. If <laughs> and he's going to be a father. None of us have real any real stake in this world. Um, so yeah, it's John now all the way. That makes sense. Such a good show. <sighs> yeah. What do we got? All right. Two we names. We get a rifle through these. These guys are going to complain. Two names to love asks. What do you have to say about the United Airline incident? Oh, okay. Uh, a gentleman who, 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 as you guys know, was pulled off a United Airlines flight. A, a man who doesn't look too different than John, actually, uh, was <laughs> forcibly pulled off the United Airlines flight after he refused to give up his seat. Um, I, I don't feel, you know, I feel like they treated him wrongly. Is that controversial? I got kicked off a United flight before. Well, really? you did, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This was right. This was post 9 11 America. For oh, sure. No. For uh, sure. What did, you, did you do anything controversial I that would. I switched seats with a guy that was, wanted to sit next to his family. He was sitting in an exit row. So as soon as I sat down in the exit row, <laughs> a stewardess came up three, not four seconds later, sir. Please bring all your belongings to the flight. The oh captain God. would like to speak to you off the plane. That's a true story. I yeah. remember when he came came back, he was upset, but I would have been more upset. I was really upset. I called my dad. And then what'd they give you? What'd they give you as a, a they, apology? They they gave me a 10%. It was like $100 off my next flight. <laughs> and in ballpoint pen, it said, thank you on the back. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Racism, uh, no racial profiling. You got a uh, hundred dollar voucher. Yeah, only good on that. Uh, what was the airline? It was United. Oh, weird. Yeah, they are the worst airline. Yeah. Terrible. Great. Well, hopefully they don't ever decide to sponsor the show. But if they did, I would take it because I we need the money. And, uh, yeah. next. <laughs> quickly, you want, you want quickly. to keep going through these? Or you want well, to I gotta get, go. bring Look, John back out. We need two more. You need two more before John. <laughs> okay. Uh, be happy. Okay. Male, be happy. Male says, Kasim, when will you settle down and have a family? Ooh. Ah, great question. Oof. Um, I know you guys want to get a sneak peek of my um, my private life. You know, I've, I've always been very uh, protective over showing that side of me, and I am going to maybe in two weeks from now show you what it's like with me and my family. I'm going to show my family and, and what a day in our lives is like. So, stay tuned for that. Okay, Sam Stein Graber, Sam Stein Graber asks, when will Dell be back? Can he have a bigger part in the show? That's a good yes. question. Oh, that's that's a real question. Yes, that I do actually, think we should have more Dell. It seems like, I mean, I'm here now. He How had much a lot more of Dell can there be than right now? <laughs> Those were six great ideas. Yeah, this was, that was a great. That's bit. the most great ideas I've ever heard. Okay, we'll see what the poll says. If people decide they want Dell as part of the show, we're Vote actually letting them decide. Vote for Dell. I'm just seeing all more Dell. Everyone's right. calling John the lesbian from uh, Orange is the New Black. <laughs> <laughs> all right, hey, John, okay. come out back out here. If you guys remember, um, we had a series of videos called Papa John's is not percent. Present Papa John <laughs> in John soon to be Papa. Um, and we have a, uh, what did we do last time with you? We, we decided to baby proof your house. Baby proof, yeah, we did that. And uh, now you. Now, well, now, um, now, John has a dirty little habit that mm -hmm. we just, John's a smoker, for those of you that don't know. Obviously, a lot of you guys know. So we decided to take John to a hypnotist and see if he could cure him of his nasty addiction. So take a look. In a continuing effort to better prepare John for his impending fatherhood, we've brought him to a hypnotist to help him uh, quit smoking. We don't want that little kid to get cancer like on day one, no, so. No, no, no. We're gonna see what we can do here. The hey, doorbell man. camera. He's looking right at us. Hey, hello. Hi, hello. how are you? Good. Come on in. So tell me, how long have you been smoking? Uh, seven years. The way I help people to quit smoking is I am not going to have you just quit smoking cold turkey because it's awful. On a normal day, what would you eat for breakfast? Cereal. See, what kind of cereal? Cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast. Yeah, okay. What about snacks? What do you eat for snacks? Uh, oranges or, okay. or bullshit. Or cookies. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's mostly cookies, John. No, I eat a lot of oranges. I really do. All right. Every day. Oranges are, I eat okay. like two or three oranges a day, but I okay. also eat a lot of cookies. That's a lot of oranges. Okay. So we're going to tell you how we're going to have you quit smoking. Can you also have him cut down on the amount of oranges that he's eating? 
for a day. With any drug or alcohol or anything that we ingest into our systems, when we do it for the very first time, it creates an effect. And so we continue to use that substance to go back to that original effect. Never happens. Chasing the dragon. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The only way dragon on that, that water, you'll be yeah. <laughs> every two to two and a half hours, protein, protein, protein. What's a good example of a protein? Fish, meat, fowl, chicken, Like eggs. a breakfast fish? Pe are peanuts proteins? Yeah. What is an avocado? But well, like eggs are good. Eggs, eggs are, are good. excellent. Four grams of protein per egg. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I have tons of eggs. Okay, good. Excellent. So, an excellent. Ex <laughs> excellent. Ex very punny. Very punny. The yoke was on me. <laughs> 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 Sorry, John. This is no, your life okay. here. And then you make sure you go to a different oh, store. Found a dragon. Is there a particular place at home where you leave your keys? Yeah, is like a, a bowl. I want you to take that bowl and move it to a completely different place. Because what we're it's doing fun. now is we're changing up habits. Yeah. And then I want you to buy your cigarettes from a different store every day. Seems okay. like a yeah. hassle. Yeah, yeah, that sounds very hard. What do we need the hypnotism for? Is that, you know? So here we go now, um, we're going to do some suggestibility testing and during the course of the suggestibility testing I'm going to convert to hypnosis and have you as relaxed as I can possibly make you within the hypnotic uh, area, okay? Now we're going to get into some real stuff. Oh cool. Okay, so we're out here, John is inside. Gotta be honest, you know I have a lot of high hopes for John quitting smoking, but there's just a lot of work. Seems like a lot of chores he has to do. Anyways, we're uh, we're pulling for you, John. Let's go get some cinnamon toast crunch. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Big bowl of cinnamon toast crunch. What That's are you the way ten? Started. Are you you feeling okay? Everything good? I feel very relaxed. Are you in there? Yeah. Do you feel like you got a shot at this? Yeah. I actually feel more confident. I don't know what you did to him, but he speaks with much more conviction than 25 <laughs> minutes ago. I feel like it's more tangible. <laughs> John? You <laughs> Are you the same guy that Kayla went in that room? What's up? No, definitely not. What happened in there? I don't know. If you guys like what you see with John, you want this sort of uh, result for yourself or somebody else, you may stop looking at me. Do you have a website or anything like that? I do. It's hypnotherapyforyou.net. Well, thank you again for your time and letting us in your home. I love what you've done with the place. Thank you. And I hope to get my friend back soon. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Nick. <laughs> okay. All right. My pleasure. Yeah, we'll see you next week. Enjoy. Time. Okay. Good luck and we'll see you next week. Yeah. Thanks for that, Casim. <laughs> that was great. Well, okay. Uh, let me ask you this, John. Yeah. You were really weird. You were being super weird after. Yeah. But I mean, I've seen you smoke six cigarettes since you've been here today. Did it work? I smoke less per day. <laughs> I don't know. You, since then, have yes. you done? You're smoking right now. Have you done anything that he said to do? Did yeah, you, did I did you change brands. I did. did you, no, I didn't change. Oh, I changed <laughs> brands for one one, but then I forget. It's such a hard habit to break. But uh, I did do the keys. I did wake up earlier, start walking around the block. Are you doing that? Yeah. Ha be honest with me. You did that a week ago. How many times have you gotten up early to walk in your neighborhood? I would say out of it's been like 10 days. I would say five of those 10 days I did that. First of all, it's not been 10 days. It's How, lo <laughs> How much longer has it been? Okay, all right, okay. Maybe it has been 10 okay, days. Yeah. Okay, you've gone, you give it 50%, right? Mm -hmm. 50%. It's okay. not bad. So now, but now you're smoking. So, so This is smoking right now, but it's just one. <laughs> it's not like I'm just smoking all day. Oh, man. I feel bad for the real kid that's going to end up in that harness right there. Well, let's stop by then. Well, that wasn't the only thing that we did with John. We actually decided that besides having to get him to quit smoking, John needed to be able to protect his household so we did a little uh, John Wick style gun training uh, just <laughs> to see how John would, would do in an abduction scenario. So take a look at this. We'll be right back. I don't know how they do things in China, John, but here in the US of A, if somebody threatens our family, we shoot to kill. So today we have soon to be Papa John, not sponsored by Papa John's, doing some firearms training. Ready? I'm Korean. All right, enough chit chat, let's go. Better daddy, better baby, Papa John. Stay cheesy. Okay, John. 
You're going to start right here with a black mark. You're going to fire two shots at your target. You're going to move, duck and cover behind this trash can, fire off two more shots. You're going to do a front flip and or somersault roll. I'm not going to do it, even though I could. Fire off two more, and then we'll pull the target off and see how you did. A double tap into the heart, right? Sure. Yeah, I think nobody expects you to be even hit the target, so just... Really? Yeah. Oh, right, whenever you're ready. Hmm. Oh, great. There goes your baby, John. Say bye to your baby. Number result. That wasn't, yeah. so good. that wasn't so good. Maybe you got one in his lung. But overall, this guy got away with your baby. You want to see what else we got for you to shoot at? Yeah, Okay. definitely. Let's try this. What do you think about this, John? It's going to be more fun. I'll tell you what. I don't think you could hit me. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that was that's the one. Let's take a look here. You really are good at shooting right shoulders? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, they, they, I got away with your baby. It's hard to I don't feel like the stakes are high enough here. What do you mean? Here. Hang, hang on to this. Don't eat any. <laughs> Two brown Middle Eastern men yeah. abducting your baby. I better not see any airsoft pellets through That's her. That's going to be hard. Yeah, it may be hard. Yeah. Fatherhood is not easy, John. Yeah. Oh, this is way hard. Yeah. Now, now you look good. And when you do that front somersault, that baby comes out of there, the whole thing is over. Uh, uh, uh. So, good luck. He's running away with it. Okay. Nice. Keep the baby off. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You got the only headshot you've had all day has been on the one I told you not to hit. You killed your baby between the eyes. That's Look at that camera shot. right now and explain to Terry why you just shot your baby between the eyes. Well, I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. Oh, sorry, Terry. <laughs> so there's no we didn't why. shoot our baby on purpose. It's a good shot, though, right? Yeah, it was a good shot for somebody trying to do it on purpose. What do you say we just, uh, we just put a few of these up and we all just take a crack at it? That sounds like fun. All right, cool. Are you happy with this? Yes. I think you did a good job. Yeah. So as long as you carry around two full, uh, fully automatic rifles in your your car, you should be fine. What do you think? You think you're going to be a better Papa John? Oh yeah, for sure. I got the killer instinct. I could use a slice right now. Yeah, How about you guys? Too. You guys want some pizza? Yeah. All right. That's it. Oh, John. Oh, we want to thank not Papa John's for not sponsoring that segment of John soon to be Papa. Um, how'd you, you. Uh, how'd you feel? Do you feel stronger, a, better? Yeah, that was a really fun day. I enjoyed that more than the hypnotism. And you became a better, <laughs> more yeah. than the hypnotism. Yeah, because yeah. you were in a creepy room with dragons. Yeah, for... next time we should do real guns or something. Okay, calm down. I mean, imagine the damage you would do. The only headshot you got was your, your baby. You know, I think you could use yeah. a little more <laughs> practice. Um, I did say that I put up the poll earlier, but I really screwed up and it took me five seconds later. The poll is now up to see if Dell stays on the show. And I gotta tell you guys, so yeah. far, people are siding with me. They don't want Dell on the show anymore. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people against Dell. It's really <laughs> I mean, hey, what, is that like, a blunt? Listen, I was in the first three episodes. I mean, that's guys, guaranteed. First of all, you, you're, you're, your oh. days are numbered, pal. You and to... this, that's a blunt, and I oh. said no blunts. Oh. You, no, the blunts got unbanned last episode. That's true. true. The, bl the blunt ban was lifted. Just but, hang out with us. But I just wish I could just say something in my show and you guys would go listen. Go ahead. We want it. We love your show. We're big I, the fans. The people have spoken. Do you okay. like to have some show? You guys, I'm a please big go to the show. Twitter poll. Let's get Dell off the show. Let's make this a clean, wholesome <laughs> show for the kids. This is clean. It's not clean. <laughs> I'm You're clean. confusing. I licked myself. <laughs> I'm clean. Imagine, imagine if you had beers, too, the mixed messages we'd be sending. Yeah, I'd feel great. Your mouth isn't even lining up when you're talking. <laughs> That's, I blame that on the audio delay. Yeah, uh, there's like a three-minute delay yeah, sometimes. 
they cut out that front no, picture. There's no delay. All right, anyways, we'll be right back after this break. When we get back, uh, we'll have Nathan Barnett on the show. Yeah. Woo! Woo! I'm yeah, watching Dell. He's synced up. <laughs> With high. Yeah! Jesus Christ, there's a party here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we sit on the floor, please? <laughs> Did you like it, Dan? Uh, the, the pot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're gonna find out who here's a narc. Everybody smokes. Everybody smokes. If you don't smoke, you're a fucking cop! <laughs> Every comedian I know has spent so much time, they work so hard to make a show. Yeah. And your show is just getting a bunch of people high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna think everybody's mad at me. I'm gonna make a joke all confident, and then I'm gonna be like, that was stupid, I'm sorry. <laughs> what was the point of the story? Oh. That, oh, and also, by the way, I'm high already. And, um, yeah. I mean, I usually, I usually am, you know? Janice, why do you got the phone volume up so loud again? You. She's pregnant. Come on. You're my mom. Did you know that Jacob Dylan's dad was a singer? <laughs> What's up, tiny dick? What's sarcasm? I think that was. What? Chop up the wood. I'll tell you a secret. I've never interviewed someone before. <laughs> now you tell me. <laughs> I feel like this is racist. And we're back. Uh, I just wanted to take a moment. And uh, according to your poll so far, people are voting to keep Dell off the show. I do have a few comments here. Uh, Klein Ahali says we have to protect Dell at any cost. Yes. You're wrong. No, That's actually yes. incorrect. We don't have to protect him at all. Need help. Uh, let's see. Uh, Brett Stanfield says, I think the amount of Dell we have is perfect. Okay, this seems to be, I mean, pro-positive comments, but in, in the actual poll, people want you gone. Uh, well, it's fake news. Uh, Nat, Nat Bear Media says, less Dell, but don't cut him entirely. <laughs> yeah, there's a perfect I, balance. I can get behind that. Uh, okay, uh, uh, Chris Carlucci says, hashtag <laughs> fuck Dell. Nah. You know, it's just class, a classic, but I totally agree. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Uh, Jared Merch Andrew, says bl blunts are mandatory. No. <laughs> yeah, I've been reading some of the comments. Some are, like, pretty hateful. Yeah. It's some vicious ones in I'm there. Not, I'm not, like, a mean guy. I'm like a, I'm, I feel like I'm a pretty nice guy. Yeah, you're pretty chill. Okay, here we go. Um, hey, guys, give me a, 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 give our guests a warm welcome. It's time to get into the trailer with Nathan Barnett. Uh, here we are. Let's enter. Whoa. Nathan, hey, Nathan, wake up, buddy. Oh. I know, our show's running a little long. Okay, I'm gonna try and hop in here with you. How, what, how was the nap? That was great, this is very cozy. Hey, thanks for coming. I, uh, these blankets were tucked in pretty hard. Yeah, no one's so. actually ever slept in here oh. since I got it. <laughs> I figured. Hey, that... thanks for coming, uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. Um, you guys know Nathan Barnett, uh, AKA Keith Apicary, AKA Trail Luaus. All the bald weirdos on the internet. Um, That's me. I remember when I first, this is a tie into Ask Kasim, when we first did Ask Kasim, I just did JPEGs and we would just show JPEGs in little videos and Keith Apicary is one of the first ones we would just randomly show. And that like the first time we did that, I got an email from you. Yeah, yeah. And you someone... were like, hey, thanks for using my thing. And I was like, oh, that's so nice. Yeah. And you were in Santa Monica and I was mm -hmm. in Venice. And I was like, well, let's hang. Yeah, it's a match made in heaven. And that was seven, eight years ago? Yeah, it was, had to be like eight years ago. That was a while ago. I remember that. I remember emailing you 
sitting there. In, yeah, I know what'd the, you think? Like when you saw? I didn't know who you were at the time. No, of course, <laughs> and there, that's still but, the case with many, very many people. I, I, yeah, I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know anything at the time. I didn't know what was YouTube was very new at that time, mm -hmm. and uh, I remember someone who watched my videos sent me a message and said, "Hey." Kasim showed uh, something of yours. Mm -hmm. I was like, Kasim? Yeah. I'd never heard that name yeah, before. I said, yeah. So I searched Kasim, found you instantly. Yeah. And then uh, uh, I found the whole video and I was like, oh, this is awesome. So I figured I'd say thank you because you have a lot of viewers and it, I, it was no I problem. still have a, the 1% of people who watch you. So it well, was they're all gone. awesome for me. All my viewers are gone. Oh, uh, you must have taken kinda, mine with you. Yeah. And they, you know, they all just, there was a, a mass exodus. Uh, when I when I came back with this show. Well, if they're all gonna <laughs> come back, I'm sure. I hope they're um, on their way. Well, I do I do remember looking at your videos, and a you did uh, Keith Apicary was the first one I saw, and it was a great character. But well, then thank I, you. Then I realized you could move your body, and you could bend it, and you could dance. Oh yeah. And one of the first <laughs> videos I saw was uh, the uh, the video when you were dancing. What's the French girl? Oh yell. Yell the yeah, yell yeah, video. Yeah. Yeah, Man, I would have, I'm great at preparing for interviews. But you were, <laughs> I thought I, I love the way you. Uh, it was like a fan. You did. It wasn't officially a yell. Yeah, that was. Just... I was just a fan of them. Uh, my brother had told me about them. It was like, oh, you should, you'd like this band. Yeah. And uh, I did. I loved them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just listened to them all the time. I rode my bike everywhere in LA for like eight years when mm -hmm. I lived at first moved out here, and so I had a lot of time listening to music. And I listened to that their first album pop up like a hundred times yeah yell is great everyone should check out yell they're it's spelled y-e-l-l-e -L -L -E. um yep. they're amazing they're super fun dancey uh french band and uh i loved them and i just had this idea for this one song i just kept popping in my head i kept seeing like this the guy in a safari outfit mm -hmm. dancing around i was like oh that'd be kind of a fun video so i went and shot it it was just me and a tripod for like 90 percent of the video and then at the end was my brother dressed as a lion because yep. the album, that album was called uh, Safari Disco Club, so I figured I should do a thing Safari themed. Mm -hmm. so my brother played a lion, he had, I had this lion costume, and my friend Erica played like a safari girl for the ending, so it was a little more climactic, so it wasn't just me dancing at the end, it kind of built. Anyways, there's too much information about this video, but no, I it made it, video. and yeah. they liked it a lot, yep. uh, they saw it, and then... Um, the drummer, Jeff, Jean-Francois is his name, but I call him Jeff. <laughs> That's what he says to call him because it's Jeff's easier. Jeff's way easier, yeah. Yeah, yeah way easier than Jean-Francois so Perrier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he, uh, he's like, oh, we're coming to L.A., we should meet up. And I was like, I'm actually going to see you like in a couple of days in San Francisco. So I, my brother and I drove up to San Francisco mm -hmm. to see them. And then the following day, they were going to play in L.A. So they said, oh, come talk to us after the show. I talked to them, hung out with them. And then he asked me if I wanted to dance on stage with them at the LA show the next night at like the Honda or the Fonda or whatever theater somewhere in Hollywood. Wow, so you so, you, you went from just making a fan video to being on stage with them. Yeah, that's and crazy. That's, multiple times I've danced on stage with them. And then you them. were in an official and then, at least one. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then I did another one later that was that they were involved with the creative. It was still like one of my dance videos and mm -hmm. Julie was in it. That that's the that's Yell, she's mm -hmm. the singer. Mm -hmm. Um and since I've been just pretty close friends with them. I text them every day, both of them. And yeah, Paul, friend Paul and I made a official video with them when they came out a few months ago, or like in the winter. That's out now. Uh, it's called Ici and, and Maintenant, I think is how you say it. It's called, mm -hmm. it's here and now in French. And uh, I was in, that was all shot around LA. And I went and visited them over the winter and stayed with them in uh, Brittany, France. Jesus. For like a week, it was the best. So you just became best buds. Yeah, it was awesome. It was cool because that's incredible. I would have never guessed that my favorite band I'd become like really good friends with. Yeah, I, I think that's a you know that's cool that the power of the internet allows you to do that. Yeah. But also like you were getting major views on your own and helping spread their music because I would have never yeah, heard yeah. them True. if it wasn't for you uh, dancing to them. Yeah, I um, think that uh, that's it's helped a little bit my videos with their main uh, their uh, American audience. Yeah. They're uh, helping spread them. That's, the, that's I, that was the plan. Cause yeah, I, I like. And you've so done much. a bunch of videos for other people since. Oh yeah, 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 oh yeah. And like those yell videos helped a lot because so many people were seeing them, and it just got me so many other like artists reaching out and because you can move. Things. I guess were so. I'm not a dancer? dancer. No, I'm not a dancer. Well, people how do you know always. How to dance, I just like to dance. That's all it is. I really don't know how to dance. Like I can't do choreography, 
at all for the life of me. Like I can't remember like, I don't know, two not... steps ahead. You're being so I No, I've really tried. I just can't. Only thing I can do is just freestyle. I'm like, just yeah. going to go and move to the music. Yeah. And then at, at, at that, I still kind of repeat similar thi like things over and over. But um, I just really like to dance. Me and my brother, Seth, before we moved out here, we used to go to this 80s night on Tuesdays at Club Hell in Providence. <laughs> so it was like this gothic club most of the week. Oh. But then on Tuesdays was an 80s night. And I'm like, yeah. All like indie kids went and it was really fun so i would just go and dance and then we moved out here and we found more 80s nights so i that's my experience dancing is just going to 80s nights and now i don't do that because i'm 36 i look like <laughs> a predator if i go dance well, with 21 year old okay girls. so you weren't a trained dancer but what about clowning were you uh, a trained no I didn't, I didn't train but it's funny cirque du soleil hired me as a clown for that do you know that michael jackson show i don't know if it ever yeah, happened yeah but it was like the director of that show his name was jamie king i think the, this is it yeah michael was, it was supposed you to were like supposed a hologram. to be i was the first person hired out of all of the talent on that whole thing as a clown uh, as a clown the, like head, the, clown. the head clown yep. um and they were called the fanatics it was gonna be like a group of these guys that impersonated michael jackson and they were just like fans of him and yeah. dressed up like him and danced and uh they reached out to my agent was they they said jamie wants nathan he'd seen my trailer louse videos and he saw i think he saw some uh, some i did this one move called the sick cat and in one of the videos i do this thing where i'm just gonna go like that and he had they <laughs> mentioned that where i'm doing the sick cat mm -hmm. thing and they said, oh, Jamie likes how you move. He wants you to be a clown in wow. Circus Soleil. And I was like, ah, oh, first of all, I'm not a clown. Yeah. I, I consider myself a comedian, but I don't have any qualifications to do Cirque du Soleil level anything. Yeah. I've ta I taught myself a mild gymnastics in high school, but at, I'm not professional and I would fail on the spot, you know? So they hired me and I never did it because I had gotten this like pilot deal at the time, which didn't go anywhere, so now I have nothing. When it rains, it pours. <laughs> yeah, right? and well, then okay, it all so fall, goes down the drain. That and it ties goes away. in because I was on Twitter yesterday and I saw you were in the news. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to stir up any controversy, but I saw that you were in this Tig Notaro short film, mm -hmm. which is called- Clown Service. Clown Service, really which is about- cool short film. Tig, who plays a, like a depressed, at, just fresh out of a breakup. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then she decides to call uh, a, a clown, a, yep. a professional clown, to come cheer her up. Yeah. And this was in the news because this weekend SNL did a sketch that was with Lu when Louis C.K. hosted. Mm -hmm. That was where Bo Bobby Moynihan was, you know, ordered by Louis C.K. Um, you're in in Tig's video. I mean, how's how's this, what is this like for you? Uh, I know you know people on both sides of this. Yeah. Is this weird for you? It's odd. When I first heard about it, I was like, really? And I was like, oh, maybe it's Louis doing it to help promote the thing. That's what I first thought mm. was, to help promote clown how service. how old is, is Tig's video? Uh, we shot it in 2015. Uh, so a while ago. So yeah, a while ago. And it's been in fests and... Or maybe and... it was 2014 we shot it. It was, mm -hmm. it was a few years ago, and then... It, she's, she played it at Largo at one of her shows a few couple years ago. I remember because I had just broken up with my old girlfriend at the time, and, that, and we've been broken up for a few years, and she came went to Largo with me. We watched it. So it's been a while. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, and Louie, I remember she mentioned Louie when we were shooting. She's like, was friends with Louie, and I thought he had like helped her mm. with some, in some aspect, but the, I, I should, you shouldn't quote me on that. I'm just trying to remember yeah, things well, now. None of this, um, nobody should take to press yeah i'm just asking for you a guy who played in this thing and it's yeah, in yeah. the center of all this controversy. it's just i don't know what to say and like i'm sure yeah. i don't want to say anyone did anything wrong because you know people will get influenced in different ways but it's just strange because you would think you know people would get pitched things on snl like mm -hmm. the hosts pitched mm -hmm. ideas and if i had was my friend had made a thing this is what i would have done if someone's like hey you want to be in this sketch i'd be like oh my friend made a thing that's just like that and that's such a that's a very unique idea yeah that's very specific. I'd be nervous to do it because then it'd be like it'd look like I stole her idea. Like yeah. if you shot something that was like super unique, yeah. the concept, and then I went and did it on SNL, and said they wrote it, yeah. I'd still feel weird about it. It would so be I, weird. I, I don't know and why I, he I wonder didn't. how much it, you know. I don't know if this is what happened or not, but it's like they have to churn so much stuff out on yeah. SNL. It's like, is it possible? somebody wrote a sketch that was the same idea because it's you know because they're just comedians working on yeah. material or do you think it was just maybe those the writers saw it and then they subconsciously forgot it and then it possibly because I, I i think the writers of that sketch are the uh Br the britannic guys and they're super mm -hmm. funny and i've been big fans and i and i yeah. like to think that 
nobody does this stuff on purpose. It just kind of surprises yeah, and like, comes out. I, I, I would never do that on purpose. But then if it ever happened to me, I try Unless to think of Carlos what Mencia. I would be. Yeah. Oh, look at me, like, <laughs> slamming done. comedians. Who am I? Uh, He's done it. Yeah, no, okay. I, I don't know. It's just, it's I, 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 it's, it's funny because all, all this is happening and it's posted everywhere. Yeah. And I'm like, it's oh, your cool. face, too. That and it's I keep showing seeing. me. Yeah. They never mentioned my name. So I'm like, ah, oh. no one's even going to know because no one's going to watch it. Well, the people, it's funny. Well, Vimeo made it their staff pick today. So it's like gone uh, up in views. Yeah. And last night I was checking views and then this morning it was like over double. I was like, whoa. And then it was the staff pick. And then I saw CNN had posted it. And then my friend sent me a little, was like, moving pictures like you hold your finger on it i yeah. should just say gif i guess he sent me an image or video and it was on la it was on the news this morning on mm-hmm. good morning la good day la it was uh-huh. just scenes with me doing stuff in the short and i was like wow the news is talking about this this is yeah. huge so i t- reached out to tig and said um hey this is crazy hope you're all right and not upset i'd be yeah. pretty bummed i i think it it's, I think it's just a shame because it's such a unique idea. And she did that in real life. She oh, called, she actually, she actually called based a clown. on a real story. Yeah, because she huh. was really depressed after an actual breakup. Yeah. So she called the clown service to have a clown come over, and they wouldn't send one. They go, no, we're not sending you a clown. It, is it weird. needs to be a party. Yeah. yeah. So she tried to get this clown to come, and it never happened. That's so so she's like, I should write a, a thing about that. So she said she had the idea for years, and she was wanting to do it, and she finally did it. And I was lucky enough to be in it. Um, but yeah, I, I did feel, I said to her, I was like, I'd be pretty upset because that's such a unique idea. And I'm super afraid of people stealing my ideas. Like when I even yeah. tell my friends about things I'm like pitching mm-hmm. to networks, I'm like, I don't tell them the full idea. Cause I'm like, in case they yeah. hear it subconsciously later in their writing, yeah. I don't think anyone was perfectly still, but I'm just, it happens. It happens. But that's such a specific well, guys, idea. It's Nathan Barnett. If you guys are seeing his face over there and they're not mentioning his name, it's Nathan Barnett. Yeah. <laughs> it's me. Uh, but yeah. they, at one point, one's place i think it was the av club they put up an image it was like bobby moynihan and i as well as like the two clowns mm-hmm. in comparison but uh that was kind of cool it's like all right i'm getting some face time i guess so maybe and it's, it's the first thing i've done that's like kind of public or like been seen by a lot of people that is more dramatic and mm-hmm. that's what i'm trying to do a lot more dramatic things now because mm-hmm. people just kind of think i'm like a stuntman or no, a clown you're a great or a dancer actor. yeah you I, can put I your head in just about anything yeah i'm but good you at can also <laughs> dumb act stuff well. but yeah i feel like I, it, I want the world to see it so i'm happy this is getting out so maybe it'll turn into something you know because it's getting a lot of attention mm-hmm. and tig in her response she said she, she's like i'm not upset just happy that it's out moving on well so it seems she was like really you guys cool are on it. the right side of the controversy yeah. if there is any if, and it's only promotion i views. guess yeah yeah um okay so. so there's a part of a show uh that we do where my mom reviews uh a movie and we get to uh listen to her hi mom okay Hang on, let me make sure the volume is up. I've watched every episode of the show, by the way. Dude, I love you're it. Such a sweetheart. Hi, mom. This is my friend Nathan. Hi. Ben, how are you? Good. How are you? Hi, mom. You look lovely today. Thank you. Is she in Egypt right now? Okay. Um, I made my mom watch uh, Brokeback Mountain. Uh, you've never seen Brokeback Mountain before, right, mom? Absolutely not. Man. No. You know, mom. I no. <laughs> think, this is going to be hilarious. My mom, for the, for those of you that don't know, okay. no, she's an Egyptian woman. She's born in a different time. Um, so it'll it'll be great to get her thoughts on what this uh, film is. Okay, mom. So go ahead. Tell me what you thought about the movie. The movie, it was very emotional. It was very sad. Uh, you are talking about gay, or gay, uh, gay rights in uh, 1963. It was nothing like, you know, gay rights or anything. But what that surprised me, what surprised me, I don't know, Spider-Man, he's a gay. <laughs> so who? Spider-Man? Who's Spider-Man? Spider-Man. No. How? Oh, Joker. Maybe she means Heath Ledger. Oh, you mean the guy from uh, Batman? No, this the guy. Who? Uh, he did the Spider-Man or, or, or Batman? The volume, hold on, Bob. We're working on the volume here. The volume's up. Is this, can you hear me? We're good. Okay, yeah, so okay, this guy, this this guy Heath Ledger, he was in Batman. He played the Joker. He's not Spider Man. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, I bet you, I bet you, yeah, the, the gay community they really uh, cried in this movie because it was so emotional, and uh, the story it is very good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I don't, uh, don't want to talk about what's happened in the tent. What? <laughs> I... <laughs> what happened in the tent, Mom? What do you think happened? Hey, we're in, kind of in a tent what right now. <laughs> what happened in the tent is stay in the tent. Yeah, me and me and Nathan are in in kind of a very small place together right now. We're camping together. We're can't we're together. I mean, we're not we're not spitting uh, in the palms of our hands or anything, but you know, you get the idea. Do you know the names of the actors in that movie? Uh, I only I know Anne. But uh, Anne I Hathaway? Like the, uh, yeah, I like her very much. Mm -hmm. She's my favorite. And do you do you and, have uh, do you have an opinion about um, about gay people and their ability to love each other? Has, has your thoughts on, on gays changed since you've watched this movie? Uh, I don't know what's happened, but I have no problem with gays at all. I always, you know, did work with them. They always helped me. They always like me very much. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm a straight person, but I like them very much. And mm -hmm. most of my my friend in, uh, in uh, Florida and California, they was gay, and <laughs> I don't know where they are now. Did uh, did but, uh, did dad did I dad see you? Did dad see you watching the movie? And what did he think about it? Uh, uh, no, daddy doesn't know what's happening in the tent, <laughs> and daddy did not see the movie. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, it is, you know, we are in uh, 2017. It is, uh, but it was very sad. I mean, I I wish if this movie did not end this way, I wish if these couples, they found some place else and they live in it, or the first two couples of gay, you know, in the 60s, they can uh, get independent. They found some places they can live in it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was, uh, it was, uh, it was sad. Uh, but they really loved each other, you know. It was real love. Those mm -hmm. guys. They did. Yeah. They did. They did love each other. This is what it makes it so emotional. So how many out of I, out of five falafels? How many falafels do you give it? Uh, do you know what? I will give it four. Wow! Oh. This is the highest reviewed movie. She so gave far. three to the one last week. Yeah, she gave. She upgraded it. She to upgraded three. because Leo. But now this is uh, this is so Heath four. outdid Leo. Yeah, so Spider Man Heath Ledger got four <laughs> falafels. Joker beat Spider Man. <laughs> no wait, Leo didn't play Spider Man. Okay, Mom. <laughs> hey, thank you. Say bye to Nathan. No, the, the, listen. Oh yeah. Listen, Mom. The four falafel it was for the story. It was very nice. Okay. It was emotional. Yeah. Uh, it uh, the movie. It was sincere. It was. It was sincere. That's why I give it four falafel. Okay. You know, falafel is very precious. I know it is. I know it is. I've, <laughs> okay. I've had breakfast at your house. Okay, Mom. Well, we love you, and we thank okay. you for your movie review. And I everyone, love you too. this is everyone's favorite part of the show. So we, uh, we hopefully you keep doing it for us. And, and I know you need a new iPad, so we're gonna get you a new iPad. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. Okay, Mom. Bye. Thank you. All okay. right. Okay, all right. She says hello, everybody. Good night. Jeez. All right. Well, uh, that was my mom. I want to thank Nathan for uh, the interview. There's a part now where you get to draw me. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah, I get to I get to have people look at me, which is something I hate. And then you get to draw it, and then I store them, and maybe one day I'll sell them. But all right. uh, we'll get you set up with that after this quick commercial break. From CDA Studios in Chicago, it's Dark Comedy Late Show with Mike Eagle. Here's your host, Mike Eagle. We have a fucking incredible show for you tonight. It's part of you saying fucking on network television. I'm not going to have this job for long. It's Exile. It's me. It's you. These are our guests. Let's go. Yeah. I gave up and became a Spotify. Paying myself a fraction of a penny playing qualifiers I'm looking up and I'm stuck in a chuck movie Saying yucky shit to chuckles like it's lucky new me So somebody better cancel me Before I get a chance to screen this ass naked dance routine It's dark comedy, cold as a soldier stare I've been exposed so now the lows is my overwear And I'm a polar bear with words for a fancy song I think it's the first verse from Little Miss Can't Be Wrong Fuck you, I like to spin doctors. Is that dude's Finn's father or just an imposter? 
Guys, I just signed us up for dating app. We all got dates tonight. Dating what? Huh? What did you just say? With the song's coming up. Well, let's go get our dates. Yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Are you okay? Right. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. Whoa! Right. No, I'm fine. Okay? I'm fine. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, the kids. Right. You're right. Shit. Who's the worker out back? I blame Dell. We are back. We've got Nathan doing my portrait. Uh, I want to thank him again for a great interview. Thank you, Mom, for your review of Brokeback Mountain. Uh, well handled. We didn't know you were gonna what you were gonna say, so thanks again, Mom. Uh, the poll of whether or not to get Dell off the show is very close. Too close. early to call. So close. Still it too early to call. Uh, it seems like everyone's on my side. No, right something's now. wrong. I called Twitter. There's something wrong with Twitter. Uh, we, are those salmons ready, by the way? We've had salmons on the grill. My buddy T-Bone over there has been grilling them up. T-Bone. They're ready. Great. We're going to get those delivered. Um, oh, oh my God. Oh. So sorry. Let start the show over. We got to start the show over. Let's start from Should the we top. Do that? We got, we got to cut and we'll restart. Okay, so here's the part of the show where I sell airtime. Um, last week, there was a uh, local Culver City real estate agent by the name of Chad Parker who was really nice enough to dump some money into the show as long as we could provide him with some airtime um, so he could promote Culver City. So uh, I, I want you guys to uh, just you know, know that this is all part of supporting our show to keep it going. And uh, I promise he would get a good chunk this time. So here's uh, a quick bit from Chad Parker. We'll be right back with some salmon and Nathan's drawing. <laughs> Notice something? No traffic. And it's rush hour. This is a life, baby. Is that Sony Studios right there? Yeah, it is. Film those palm trees. Yeah. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. It's beautiful. Paradise. You see that building right there? That's where Jackie Chan and Chris Tucker, they slid down that building in rush hour two or three. Yeah. Seinfeld's out here, uh, Clooney's out here, Spider-Man, Men in Black 2, Stuart Little. The list just goes on and on. It really is the heart of Screenland. Ellen, Ellen De Degenerates, she's out here. You see a lot of uh, Maseratis, a lot of Porsches around here. El Segundo, <laughs> Toyota Central. <laughs> Parker, you should have a reality show. Alan Dale's right over there. I get all my clothing, sportswear. It's also a hair studio. You seen uh, Gone with the Wind? I think so. Shot it right up here. But they didn't shoot any movies in El Sashido. <laughs> Just another day in Culver. I mean, the place speaks for itself. Look at this. Who wouldn't want to live here, right? Right over there, that's the Starbucks where I saw Jerry this morning. It smells nice, too. This place makes a great juice. Ooh, Joey Fatone just followed me. Are you serious? Yeah, on Instagram. He's on Dancing with the Stars, right? Yep. Probably saw me around here. This is where they filmed Wizard of Oz, okay? Really? Yeah, all the, uh, all the midgets, or all the small people stayed at that hotel right there. Culver, Culver Hotel. That's where they all stayed. This is a fresh pressed carrot juice spritzer. You're gonna love this up here. Now, kids love water. They love playing in water. That's why we got this installed. A lot of fusion restaurants over here. Everyone's having fun. And it's a weekday. What can I say? Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Boom! Tons of famous people come here. It's great. Great nightlife. Great happy hour. One of the best in LA. Look at this shit. It's beautiful. It's probably like $300,000. We got one at every corner. In the winter, during the Christmas time, we got snow machines. It's great. You want to go to Hollywood, it's right up there. You want to go to Santa Monica, it's right over there. You want to go to Venice Beach, 10 minute drive right down the road there, buddy. Part of me just wants to make Culver City an Instagram account because I know it'd probably get a million followers overnight. Almost makes you cry. 
Come on, Segundo, what do you got? Show me what you got, Segundo. Now that was just a stroll. There's so much more to be seen, but you know what to do. Make the right choice, Culver City, Chad Parker. What more can I say? What are you waiting for? Uh, once again, big thanks to Chad Parker um, for promoting Culver City. This is kind of an anti El Segundo vibe to those, but you know what? You're, you're giving money to the show, so you're the real star, Chad Parker. He's a um, little homophobic, but he did good get us he's a good house. It's house. okay. He's, he's helping support the show that we're all on. Thank you, T-Bone. We got those salmons coming up. Yep. You are the master. Nice. Woo. Ooh, nice. Let me put Whoa. this Holy right here. Bro, uh, what? Nathan, you, are, you got about one minute left, guys. I'm almost done. We need done. some socials before I read the poll results from whether or not Dell is out of here. <laughs> Come on. I'm not going to re read it. All right. They're all just mean. They're all just mean about Dell, and uh, I'm not gonna read any of the socials. Perfect. Hate, hate speech. It's you well, know I don't want to spread it. Well, I'm officially it. gonna call the poll closed, <laughs> and as of right now, 53% of you have decided to knock Dell off the show. Thank you. Great decision. So next week, mm. Dell is out of here. He won't be here. There won't be palm trees. There won't be sand on my grass. You gotta be kidding me. Sorry, Dell. Hey, the people have spoken. We gave everyone a chance. Uh I just, I can't believe it. What's going on? I, yeah, give me the salmon. No, I think that's my salmon. No, I'm eating it. No, that's my salmon. <laughs> I just ate it. I ate all your salmon. Oh, I had, Jesus. I had, I had Tony come over here and make a salmon, and I was planning on eating that. I'm trying to have, like, a foodie vibe. I'm a dog. Because I don't eat all day. I have to eat right he after He gave it to me. I ate it. It was Peter's fault. It wasn't my fault. I, I mean, that was straight Don't Peter. bring me into this. You, you gave ate it that to me. salmon. I ate it. I'm a dog. I'm mad here. about the poll, okay? It had garlic here on it. Here it comes. You got me mad. Well, I'm. Uh... I didn't want to say it, but I'm actually mad about the poll. I'm mad at the viewers. I think the audience is not intelligent. I think, I'm glad uh, they decided to side with me. It was the right decision. I think Just, the majority of Peter's uh, a little heated right now. Hey, but this you'll is, get over it. This is sort of like that election, like in a way. Frankly, people are leaning well, a little more elsewhere. Way to tie it into current politics. Way to tie it into current politics. Nathan, your time is up. Let's get a look at the, uh, and you're going to sign that. Make sure you sign Already it. Already signed. Makes it uh, much more valuable online, on online auctions. Let's take a look. Let me just wow. finishing touch on these flowers. Wow. Oh, that's that's so necessary. necessary. That, that, this finishing <laughs> touch is really bringing it all together. Yeah. Awesome. Peter, well worth it. Nice. Peter is an art critic. All right, Peter markers stands. down. Let's see. Let's take a look here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> exact replica. Uh, you know, I know my teeth are a little jangled. I think this is this is a, an extreme. This is an extreme. I version. had three art classes my senior year. They, you know, you did good. You, there was. My head's real big. There's clouds. There's glasses. Losing, you there's got the clouds grass, right for sure. Shirt, pants. I just feel exact like exact replica. Just my eyes aren't as cross-eyed. It's because and you... my teeth aren't as shattered looking as, <laughs> as you would make them appear. But well, I wanna... before your band, I thought you used to <laughs> do smoke smoke drugs. Yeah, so no, your eyes are high. You're right. I do look that pretty like high. That's a high person. Yeah, right? that tracked. Well, I want to thank uh, Nathan Barnett for coming on the show. Let's give him a big round of applause. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> so much nicer than Bobby Lee. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he, I think this is the thing I, I think. Wow. Uh, here's the thought I have. I think you guys should have a wrestling match. He Ooh. called my agent. He got my agent to drop me. No, After he didn't. Show. He, he choked did you four times. times. He went to every audition I was supposed to go this week, and he told them to not cast me, and he would I do it for free. I think you're exaggerating. No, he's <laughs> sabotaging my whole... He's, I, he's out to get me, he's but he's a not, comedy he's, legend. He liked you. He's just doing a fun bit. You guys were having a fun back oh, no. and forth. He specifically said, I like you, and he pointed to Omar, and then he choked Peter. He the way choke he choked Peter. me made me feel he like, like he didn't like me. No, no, no. He was using, you know, the, the, the lo it's love. Del, oh, where, love. You, where are you? Where are you? High five. Del, yeah. where, what? Give, give this back to Castle. I, I, I didn't eat it. Here, <laughs> Del, where are you going to go? I didn't thank you, Del. Where are you going to go after the I show? Was, I was just mad. I just wanted to take the salmon from you. I'm just gonna go. Where? No, Dell. I don't have, know. I don't have anywhere to you're go. You're trying to make us feel bad now. This Not. is a game Dell is playing. Don't fall for this. I, I want to see Dell march right through here. <laughs> Do you have a place? Uh, I, 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 I don't have a place to stay. I'm just gonna have a couple cold ones, I guess. He doesn't even have myself. a place to stay. Oh, dude, this is just. This you're is out on the street. To feel bad street this, is the, this is a guilt. This is a guilt trip. Classic guilt trip. What street do you sleep on? All no. of them. No. Castle. No. Any street. This is enough. He's we been here the whole this. time. I've never wanted this guy on the show, and he's been the you sole know, focus of this you entire know what? show. You're right, Cassim. 
He needs a spin much. off. It was it, just too much. And stop agreeing with me. You stop making just me feel go. bad about it. I'm going. It wasn't no. me who said no, it. No, you don't have to. No, it was the people who voted. Down. 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 I'm out of here. Uh, quick okay, announcement go, go. about next week's show. Um, my crew is going to be down in San Juan Capistrano at a Getting Doug uh, event, which I think you guys should tune in for at 4:20 uh, next Thursday. Me, John. Uh, Peter, Omar, Nodell will be still here, same time, doing a live show, probably from my laptop webcam, because none of us really know how to work any of this stuff without the crew. Um, so don't worry, we're not going anywhere. I want to thank uh, Nathan Barnett again for being the guest. Yeah, thanks. We're hacked forever. And uh, the great portrait of me that you made. I want to thank Peter Gilroy Shout and my brother Drew. Omar mm -hmm. for doing socials. And one last live comment, Peter looks like a lesbian. That's true. I want to thank my buddy T-Bone on the grill today for grilling up some salmon. I want to thank John Na for, uh, for you know, being a soon-to-be papa and going through all the training and thank not you. quitting smoking. I want to thank Tyler Phillips, who's uh, just an honorable mention. He's not here. Um, you guys can check out all their socials down below. And I want to thank you for a great first month. Hopefully, we'll be back for week five. Uh, and thanks, Mom. We'll make sure to get you that iPad. We'll see you next week. Peter is needy.